Now, I've heard you mention you've been working with Arthur, Arthur since about March of 2016. So right. can you talk a little bit about how you've seen him grow and progress as a fighter in that time period? Well, you know, the thing, I work with him on specific things, like his jab and his body punching. You know, those are like the things that I like to focus on. And, mm -hmm. you know, I think he's improved in those areas. Uh, but, you know, I think for the most part, he's he's the same as he always was like he's because he's always been even when he was an amateur you know he was this mentally driven focused machine of a man um mm. you know i think i think he's improved as a professional over the last years uh in terms of you know his body punching and his jab and i think his his uh you know his angles and he's using the ring i think i think a lot of people when they see him they think destroyer i mean if you said to somebody what's the first thing you think of of arthur bitterby and they go oh power you know destruction he just crushes people i think that overshadows the fact that he's a very good boxer he's very calculated and technical and he works on his technique all the time he wants to work on his technique all the time like when we're in the gym we don't work on really power you know to a degree, but but mm -hmm. the goal is never to win by knockout with him. It's always to win by decision. And I think he's different in that regard because a lot of guys who can punch really, really hard, you know, I think they, they know that. And they kind of gear their training towards that power. But with him, we're working always towards, you know, assuming we're going to go the distance and we have to win on points. So it's, uh, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a really good uh, rewarding and it's fun to work with him because he's he's on his game all the time